All right, welcome to my February 2023 Fortnite Crew Pack gameplay and review. So as you can see, we get the Sylvie skin, and she is part of the Embers of Empire set. So this may be one of my favorite crew packs of all time. And yes, the skin is good, but it's not the skin that makes this bundle phenomenal. It's the backblade, Groker. It says, one day this cuddly little dragon will rule us all. And at first people thought this was a little Clombo, but it doesn't look like Clombo at all. It's its own entity and it's a baby dragon. So you can see it's heavily animated. It can move its head, its arms, its legs. It can cuddle up to Sylvie or anyone rather, not just Sylvie. It's just one of the cutest backblings I've ever seen in Fortnite. And it's probably considered a pet. We're gonna check, but it's amazing. Super, super cool not annoying, not obnoxious, it's not that big, and it's reactive. Then you've got the Smith's Slammer's pickaxes, which are also reactive. It says drop the hammer and also the other hammer. So I think these are reactive based on weak spots, but we'll check that out. Now I'd say the weak point of this crew pack is the groked wrap, because it doesn't really match her, it matches the backplate. Now with that said, it is reactive, and when you fire it, the underside of the wrap lights up. So that's actually kind of cool. I was just a little disappointed that the wrap doesn't match her color scheme and it matches Groker's instead. But of course it makes sense because it's called Groked. However, from our gaming perspective, maybe that'll look pretty sweet. We'll just have to wait and see. Now I can't quite figure out if she's an anime cell shaded effect. It's hard to tell. I did equip the Shenron glider. There's a few dragon gliders in the game, but I don't know. I feel like it would work good with her, even though there's no green on her whatsoever. And as I said, Mr. Groker is reactive, but if you don't like his reactivity, you can simply shut it off. And then he's just fluently animated, which is still pretty sweet. It does not look like you can turn the pickaxe reactivity off, however. So let's hop into a match and we're gonna see how the back bling is reactive as well as the pickaxes. I can't wait. I doubt she's reactive, but we'll see that as well. All right, so let's land in the middle of nowhere. Maybe down here. Let's see what this skin has to offer. Not sure how Shenron's gonna look here. Let's see. So that's not bad. I really can't tell if she's cell shaded or not. All right, so from what I've read, opening a chest will trigger the reactivity on this beautifully amazing backblade. Let's see if that holds true. Here's a chest right here. Oh, you can see it's starting to glow already. Wait a minute. Was that just... Yeah, it's just the lighting. Okay, maybe that was it. Oh, he's loving me up. Here we go. Oh, it even makes a sound effect. Okay, how about if we break it? Yeah, that worked as well. But I didn't hear the sound effect on that one. So definitely opening a chest triggers the reactivity. And as you saw, it was a fire belch. Doesn't look like he's reactive to healing at all. So how about the fruit boxes? Yes, he's reactive to that as well. Now how come I couldn't hear the sound effect this time? Oh, nothing there that time. I mean, he is reacting, but no sound. I swear I heard a sound the first time I opened a chest. Maybe it only gives sound with the chest. Let's try again. Yeah, so that time it did the sound. How about with an ammo box? Okay, so it was reactive again, but no sound. And one more time with the chest. Okay. So that appears to be the case. Only with the chest do you hear the actual belch. So as for his animation, you can see the fiery glow right there. It kind of pulsates under his chin. And he will look around cautiously. I wonder what makes him love up against me because he's not doing it right here. I'm gonna try to shoot my gun and see what he does. 
Nothing there. Swing my pickaxe. No, he just goes all over the place. How about emoting? Be kind of funny if he danced along with you. Let's try this one. Nope. Let's try it with oathbound chests here. Okay, so it actually made the sound effect for that one, just like the chest. It's nice. Really, really cool. Ooh, icy slide. Gain icy speed boost briefly after sliding. Let's try this. Sorry, I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, wait, how long does it last? So is it every time you slide? Okay, that's interesting. Let's try the pickaxes. So here's the pullout sound. Really heavy duty. Oh, the contrail is phenomenal. Look at that. It's like a mixture of gold, silver, and purple. That's really clean. Now, I believe the reactivity is from hitting weak points, but let's see. Splash effect is a nice golden explosion. Now let's try hitting a weak spot. So there's the gold. Ah, yes, it turns purple. So that is the reactivity. Right, let's try hitting again and seeing if there's a different contrail. No, that's the same. So it's just the splash that changes. That's pretty cool. Now we need an limb. We gotta find out if the back bling does the same animation and sound effect for getting an limb. Let's go find somebody. Someone has a hammer up here. Let's go get him. I can't tell if this is gonna be beneficial. It literally happens every time. Uh oh, I messed up my point of view. Okay, someone's down here. Let's see if we can get an easy limb. What the? Oh, he does belch. And it was the same thing. Someone's got some horrible aim. So I also like the fact that if you break something that holds a chest or a container, it still works. But wait a minute, when you break something that holds a chest, did it still make the sound effect? Let's see, I can't remember. Here we go. Nah, I didn't hear it. Okay, it's nighttime out, so let me demonstrate the reactivity here. Check this out. Look how awesome that is. I take back every bad thing I said about this rap. Here's the AR. That is real cool. I can't wait to see that on the rap skin. There we go. Did the dragon do anything fun? No. So let's check real quick if the back bling is really considered a pet. Because you can sort by pets. And unfortunately not. I mean, they consider Claptrap a pet, but not Groker? Are you kidding me? 
By the way, there are some really, really cool pets. Oh, really? The child? Baby Yoda? Jack would kill me if I said Baby Yoda. Wow. Even Mary Munchkin, huh? But not... Wait, the perch owl is... What? Come on. Well, not considered a pet, unfortunately. All right, so check this out. So here's what it looks like. And of course, when you swing, it's going to be reactive. Here you go. Oh, man. Okay, so it's not as cool as I thought. So it's just the sleeves and a little bit of the bottom that lights up. I mean, I guess the shoulder pad, too. It looks way better on the wrap. Now, I don't say that very often because the wrap skins make everything look better. But in this case, I honestly think it looks better on the gun. But it is kind of cool how it lights up in sync with your shoulder. So it does linger for a while. Watch this. Kind of lingers, then fades out. Huh. Not bad at all. So there you go. One of, if not the best crew pack skins in the game. And it's mostly because of Groker. But I'll be honest, the pickaxes are amazing as well. The skin is amazing. And the wrap was really, really impressive. The reactivity for this is so cool. So even though it doesn't really match the color scheme of Sylvie, it matches Groker and it looks perfect.